much has Malibu real estate depreciated since 2007, since the downturn? I would say around 30%. And is it st it's still down? It's still down. Really? Yes. Why is that? Why has it not recovered in this market? It's starting to recover, I feel. January and February were very slow, but March, April, our sales are starting to increase. So I feel that the buyers are realizing that there's such great buys out here and they're taking advantage of it. And interesting enough, we're getting a lot of foreign um, investors coming through looking at our Malibu real estate. Are there any more foreign investors or interest <clears throat> in, you know, from, from foreign investors in American real estate than there was, let's say, in 2007? Or is it just the fact that fewer Americans are actually in the market? I really feel like there's a lot more foreign buyers. On my one listing that I have for $75 million, I'm going to have three showings with Chinese buyers. I've had two with Russian buyers, and we didn't see that in 2007. So I'm seeing a big increase in foreign buyers coming this way. Why is that? I think they want, especially in China, I feel that perhaps they want to get some of their money out of China, and they want to diversify. Mm. And um, I think they realize that America is a great buy right now, especially with the dollar so low. And are homes, are you <clears throat> finding that a lot of homes are selling before they hit the MLS? That happens occasionally. Um, I do have some pocket listings, and um, I have pre-sold a few. And what is the secret to selling those homes when it's not on the MLS? Any secrets there? Well, I think, you know, when something is a pocket listing, Kim, you realize that the, a lot of the buyers are doing their research before they go out. And if they see something that you can come up with that's not on the multiple listing service, sometimes they get excited and they will pull the trigger and purchase the property. Any more that are selling before the MLS than there were, let's say, in 2007? I think that market with pocket listings is pretty much always consistent. Mm. Um, I always feel, though, it's the best thing to do is to put in the multiple listing service to open it up to that many more buyers because perhaps you might be getting a multiple offer situation and that's the best scenario for the seller.